it may very well be clobbering time as we're about to unbox the thing and mr fantastic from diamond selects marvel select line we did the invisible woman after we get these two unboxed here in a little bit all we'll have left is find the human torch and get him and maybe dr doom with to do him but until then let's start with what we have we're gonna start off with the thing here which if you couldn't tell already is a big old boy now these usually have about the average figure you know weight to them but ben here the thing is very very heavy when compared to the rest of them the package has a marvel comic version of the thing there on the front uh the package mass matches his whole color scheme there's a thing on the side for him and on the back you'll get your figure information about Ben Grimm's transformation into the thing some studio photos of the figure we have also available the abomination and spider-man I feel like we've done spider-man I've checked myself I think I have that spider-man there is another comic variation of him diamond select toys information here on the back and with that being said there's not a lot of accessories here he seems to just have one little thing here with him but we will pop him out of his plastic prison and we will get to posing and see what kind of stock music we can use for it and then after that we'll move on to reed richards the mr fantastic himself so we before we get to the thing here this is all he comes with um i'm sure this probably either hooks into some more fantastic four stuff or hooks into something else to come in the series as it is it really doesn't have a point but uh Sometimes Diamond Select kind of has things that connect together that come in different waves. So we'll just put this aside and we'll see later on. As for the thing, well, if you can't tell, my hands are pretty average size for a man. He's pretty massive. Um, bigger than the Hulk figure. Bigger than the Hulk Buster figure. And he's got a lot of weight. Like, this does not do him justice. I say we got a solid couple pounds in this. Uh, that being said, surprisingly... There's some pretty good movement. The head does rotate around. The neck goes down, neck goes up. These big massive arms here go up and down, which it's not that easy to do with one hand, but you see there, there's the movement. If the joints are stiff. I don't think it gets in the way, but the joints are very stiff. I'm sure if you work that enough, it'll get a little bit better. The wrist even bend. Well, see, there you go. There's your movement. Like I say, everybody in the, in the comments, Chuck needs a tripod. I know. Had one. Don't know what happened to it. Um, the legs here. Well, the feet. The feet go down and back and whatnot. Legs don't split. Uh, there's movement. Uh, no. Is there movement? There's movement at the waist. A little bit of movement at the waist, as you can see there. Pretty loose. The feet themselves. There's not a cut there, so no rotation on that. Um, of course, you get the knee movement. The knees move back, as you can see there. And the feet, as mentioned, have this little rotation going. Although, it is pretty stiff out of the package. So, since you've seen the articulation, you could lay somebody out. Reminds me of the LJNs of King Kong Bundy. <laughs> but, uh, since you've seen how he moves, we'll pause for the cause now and come back with a little montage of a little up-close video of him. certainly does look rock like and there is what he looks like compared to the only other fantastic four member i already have unboxed in the invisible woman sue storm so let's move on to reed richards and then we'll get maybe a little family picture there minus the human torch at the end 
And now we've moved on to Mr. Fantastic Reed Richards. You can see him in his package here. A lot of accessories here. He has an extendo to go on the way. So we put him on his little self when he's all wadded up here. Extended hands, all that good stuff. So his little Gumby uh, powers that he seems to have where he can extend basically anything. We're going to ignore the... Uh, you know, Multiverse of Madness movie right now, how they did Reed. But the package here only has a Fantastic Four there with Reed behind it instead of Reed in the side part. So it makes me think that maybe the Thing was a much older uh, figure, maybe an older line. There is the figure itself. My dog won't shut up. But there's a, uh, there is the figure itself on the side. Pretty cool little figure there of him. And when we go to the back, we have the figure again. They're very proud of this figure because they've got him everywhere. There he is. All bent up and extended up there. There is your little story there about Reed and the Fantastic Four. Again, Diamond Select Toys information there. But we have Sue, we have the thing, and we're about to have Mr. Reed Richards open. And we're going to see about his articulation before we do a bunch of poses and try him out at his little alternate stance here. I'm going to go over the accessories here. It's probably like the coolest figures I've ever done. <laughs> Spoiler alert. Uh, there is the mountain... Of Reed there that we can display him on here in a minute as his waist pops off and goes on there. Uh, here's the extendo for that. I call it the extendo, but it'll go like right here, basically for that. We'll show you all that in a minute. We've got extended fist. We've got the extended hand. We've got this little gadget that I'm not sure what it's called, but we got that. And then we've got well, we have another hand I just slung. If I can find it. We have this hand. We have this hand. And we have this hand. We also have another part that I was really confused about what it was at first. And then I realized this little black part here extends his head. There's a good shot of Reed Richards' head there. And this goes right in here. Pops right in the neck. So that way we've got an even funkier... Mr. Fantastic doing a neck stretch. This might be the first time I've seen this feature on a Reed Richards figure. I don't think the Legends have done it. I could be wrong. That being said, let's put his head back on and give you the movements out of him. So, early report here, we'll say this much. He has a big stub. Well, that sounds bad. That pops right in there for his head. His waist pops off relatively easy, as you can see here, to make the other gimmick work. So, if you take it off and on a lot, that could possibly be a problem. Other than that, he's got the leg extensions. He's got the movement at the hip, as you can see. And the joints are a little stiff. They're always a little stiff. Not as stiff as the Karate Kid ones, though. The ankle does that. It also does that motion, although it's a little stiff on that motion, but it does that motion. Uh, knees bend. If you want the old knee test that a lot of people like to do, well, it popped off doing that. So, yeah, there's, there's the only cool, or the bad part of this cool read. Reed Richards figure is the uh, fact that he pops off relatively easy. Other than that, we have our our little chest swivel. We have our arms that do the. Well, it's stiff, but it rotates out. Elbow does, wrist does. So stiff joints here, but it's a cool looking figure, and it is a cool figure that snaps apart way easier than it should. Very AEW figures from Jazzwear. But uh, the figure, other than that, I mean, look, this thing looks amazing. So we're going to pause for the cause and get some uh, footage of this guy in his other habitats. <laughs>
there you have it, the Fantastic Four, although we only have three here. And there is a lot of different things you can do for Eater Richards. His wrist pops off for the extended hands here. The hands pop off, you just want to change the hands. You can extend the torso here, although that's a little bit harder to pop off and have the extendo that I mentioned. It's a little bit hard to get that on, but the rest of it is that, and that is what you get. And, uh, of course, if you want to see her review, it's also on the channel. Now, you can look up now my website, easier to access, at zombiedontrun.com. We drop the S. I know it's not like Ninja, but hey, it works. And it's also the only URL, even close to what we had, that we can get back. So, zombiedontrun.com. And you can see all these reviews and written reviews and these videos if you want it all in one place. But, yeah, this is Diamond Select Toys. It's Fantastic Four. Uh, we need the Human Torch. But there is three of the four. But particularly, these two are the ones we just did the review over, Mr. Fantastic and The Thing. So check those out, and let me know what you think about them.